Montana State University has been doing research on sawfly, wheat stem sawfly, for more than 100 years. It is a small wasp-like bug that shows up for just three to four days in its flying season and ends up invading the stem of the wheat plant. When agriculture came to the state in the form of uh, small grains, wheat especially, the wheat stem sawfly moved. It's, it had this, hey, I'll, take, I'll move over to this Garden of Eden, if you will, this huge wheat field. Very nutritious, right, for the wheat stem sawfly. When that wheat is almost ripe, sawfly then prepares to um, spend the winter down about an inch below the soil. It goes down the stem into the crown of the plant. And as it exits, it takes enough material out of the stem to make it very weak there. When that happens, then we get a good strong wind and that wheat just falls over. The problem with wheat stem sawfly more than anything is the economic cost of this bug. So because its invasion is so prolific, it has reached epidemic levels all the way to some estimates of $85 million in losses every single year. The um, Montana State University team that works on sawfly is, it cuts across, it's not just entomologists, right? It's, it's wheat breeders and agronomists and others. So we have a very broad team and that's really important. Montana State University for over 30 years now has invested in sawfly research which includes everything from solid stem to transgenics coming down the pike. MSU is considered one of the pioneers of bringing forward solid stem varieties in US. It's Montana State's germplasm that is being used in other breeding programs to bring solid stem into their breeding lines. And the breeders in each one of these institutions, whether it's Montana, whether it's uh, Colorado, whether it's Nebraska, whether it's Kansas, all these programs are slowly understanding that we have to work together. Montana Wheat and Barley Committee has invested heavily in the opportunity to share all of this good knowledge at Montana State University with other universities across the country so we can all join in the fight for sawfly solutions. We have all these new thoughts and additional brain power to, to help solve this problem, which is very exciting.